know, Kendra, I need a word with you. It's actually really important. You really need to hear this. There's no mistake that you'll end up being single for your whole entire life. You're just so unlucky in love, aren't you? Is this you, Heidi? What are you talking about? What's brought this on all of a sudden? What are you trying to say, Heidi? I think you know what I'm trying to say here, Kendra. You're such a plain, depressing, and gloomy person. No wonder no man wants to be with you because you're that depressing to be around. If you had at least half the cheerfulness that I have, you would be living a slightly better life. As for getting a marriage partner, well, your personality specifications might not be that good as a girlfriend, but something might be there that some guy will think you're a catch. You know, it really is a shame that you'll be alone for the rest of your life. Oh my god, I think I'm tearing up with how much of a shame it is. You poor thing, Kendra. Okay, thanks for that, Heidi. Really needed to read that. You just say things so casually, just out of the blue. Oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Do you really think that I feel sorry for you or something? Oh, by the way, I've got something to tell you since you're messaging me. Next Sunday afternoon, there will be guests coming over to my parents' house. Oh, really now? May I ask who these mystery guests are, or are you just going to keep it a big secret? My fiancé is coming over to talk with my parents. He's going to ask my parents' permission to marry me. Excuse me, what? What are you talking about? Are you actually being serious right now? What fiancé? Your fiancé? That can't be possible, can it? He's going to meet your parents for the first time, and he's going to ask for your hand in marriage? He's getting their permission? Uh, yes, that's what I just said. My boyfriend and I met at the same university. We're planning to get married and register our marriage in about a year's time. No way, what? You can't be serious. Is this for real? You're actually dating someone? Like an actual man? He's real? He's living and breathing? Well, that's what I just stated, Heidi. I don't get why you don't believe me. I think my mother will talk to my brother tonight about my fiancé. I'll leave it up to them to decide whether or not they want to meet him at this point in time. Wow, I just can't believe that it's true. You've actually got a man who wants to marry you? Yeah, well, I'm going on a date with him right now, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to end this conversation here. But why? I'm not done talking to you. You leave and throw all this information at me? Are you actually telling the truth, Kendra? I have so many more questions to ask, though. Spencer, we need to talk. It's urgent. You won't believe what's going on. Have you finished work? If you've finished work, please message me. Have you heard from my mother-in-law at all? Has she mentioned anything to you? Oh, hey, Heidi. What are you talking about? I don't think she mentioned anything recently. Did something happen? You're not going to believe what I just found out. Kendra has a man, like a real man with flesh and bones. Really? That can't be right. She's actually dating some guy? Like, a real human being? Yes, a real human being. Apparently she's going to introduce him to her parents so that the guy can get permission from them to marry Kendra. He's coming by their house next Sunday, I assume. What the heck? That's crazy. I can't believe that she actually has a man. Well, it's, well, before you know it, it somehow happened. She's no more than a pathetic, depressing younger sister who somehow managed to get a guy to like her. I heard from her earlier and she mentioned that they attended the same university and that they started dating. Oh my god, I can't actually believe any of this. What are you talking about? What's happened now? Kendra's actually graduated from university? I just realized that. It didn't sink in until now. Yeah, let me think. Yeah, she definitely did graduate from university. But from where, though? Where did she go that would accept her and let such a pathetic girl study at such an institution? Um, Heidi, she went to Cornell University. No way. Really? She went there? Isn't that one of the most prestigious universities in the United States? I thought she was only just a high school graduate and did nothing much with her life. I didn't think she could be accepted to a place like Cornell. That's so hard to believe. I didn't think I said that she was just a high school graduate. Maybe you just forgot that she went to university. Maybe. I don't know. I probably didn't listen to her when she mentioned it. Wait a second. So does that mean her fiancé also went to Cornell as well? What the heck is going on here? I can't believe this crap. It's just so annoying. Okay, Heidi, I understand. 
why don't you just try calming down just a little bit, okay? How can I calm down, Spencer? This is so unfair. How can she get into a school like that when she's so pathetic and depressing? That is so unfair. Look, Heidi, this isn't something to get too worked up over, okay? Hey, just because they both went to Cornell University doesn't mean they got amazing grades and were excellent students, right? But that doesn't make sense to me. It's still an amazing school and they got in. What are you even saying? After all, someone from Cornell like him would of course most likely be the kind of person that would choose Kendra as a partner anyways. Besides, in this day and age, your educational background or your status in society aren't always equal to each other. You could be a complete lowlife. Ah, I see what you mean. So they could be just as bad as each other, really? That makes sense, right? Exactly, Heidi. So in all honesty, I don't think there's any point in worrying about it. That's true, yes. I'll stop worrying so much about this. I guess I was just disappointed and so perplexed about finding this out that I lost the plot a little. You know, you're absolutely right about all of this. <laughs> hey, Spencer, because it's such a big deal that she found some poor guy that he's going to marry her, how about I take a stance on not meeting this lowlife until the day of Kendra's wedding? That'll really stir things up, huh? I don't get what you mean. Why would you want to do that? I thought that maybe you'd want to get as much information out of him as possible. Because we are such a superior couple who are much better than them, there's no need for us to see them before the wedding. It's so we can show that we don't want to mix with the likes of them. They're just lowlifes, and their marriage is going to be so insignificant. Ah, uh, okay. I get what you mean now. That's a pretty extreme thing to do, but I can see why we should do that. You're always so good at coming up with interesting things, Heidi. <laughs> You're very savage, you know that? Let's do it and put it into practice. <laughs> It's going to be so funny when they see that we want nothing to do with such scums like them. <laughs> hey, Spencer. Hello. What are you up to? You're coming straight to the wedding venue after your night shift, right? Will you be able to find the place? Or have you already arrived? Hey, I just got to the venue now. Isn't it great to have a wedding at such an amazing venue? This fella that Kendra's with is super cheeky. It's like he's pulling out all the stops to make it look like he's not such a lowlife. Don't you think it makes sense for a little sister to have a wedding that's a bit more modest than her brother's wedding? You would think that she'd consider that. Of course this guy she's with didn't. That's so true, Spencer. You're so right. How dare she be like this, trying to show up her own brother and thinking she's better than you? Even though she's just a plain and pathetic little girl. Okay, Heidi. I think you need to settle down about this, alright? You're getting way too carried away. This is my sister we're talking about. Hey, if you don't breathe air into the fire, Spencer, it can get dangerous. That's all I'm doing in this situation. Don't you think that I should do something about your pathetic sister? I am such a genius. I'm so clever. What a successful surprise. Or maybe it would be more fitting to say, what a huge success instead. I can't decide which one is better to say. Uh, is that you, Heidi? I don't get what you're on about. You don't happen to be drunk, are you? Mm, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I quite possibly could be drunk. <laughs> I had a drink with my friends and then came straight to your wedding ceremony. <laughs> If I want to have some fun, I really need to have a few drinks. <laughs> you know, Kendra, I was looking forward to seeing a drab and super depressing wedding because that's what you are. I was so shocked to see how magnificent the wedding venue looks. You're just trying to show off now, aren't you? So as punishment for ruining my mood, I'll just push you from the top of the stairs and boom, down you fall. <laughs> it was so funny. I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> Heidi, do you have a clue about what you did? Did you even think through all of this? Ah, yes, yes. You think I should apologize to you, right? Well, I'm sorry that I had no choice but to push you down the stairs. I was drunk and my hand just slipped. I couldn't help but be off balance. <laughs> and now I'm injured. Don't you even feel just a little bit of remorse? Don't you care about other people's feelings? Look, Kendra... 
A bride wearing a white dress and white bandages goes so well together. It'll become such a well-known look now, huh? Are you kidding me, Heidi? Is that all you wanted to say about this? Oh, don't get so angry now. Not that I'm scared of you or anything. You're so pathetic, Kendra. Your brother was also in a bad mood. I guess it just comes with being a part of such a crappy family. <laughs> He's right here besides me laughing at this whole mess. <laughs> that person isn't part of the family. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Stop making me get confused. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Heidi. Think about what just happened really carefully, all right? You realize that this is a very serious situation, right? Did you notice that the person you threw down the stairs was taken away in an ambulance? Oh, is that right? Well, oops, my bad. <laughs> it's okay because you're trying to act all high and mighty anyways. <laughs> Heidi, if it was me that you pushed down the stairs, how am I messaging you if it happened less than an hour ago? Are you still not getting the picture? What do you mean? Didn't I push you down the stairs? So what if you're messaging me after? You pushed the wrong person if you were aiming to push me instead. You didn't push me down the stairs. You pushed my friend, Heidi. Wait, what? Oh, did I? It was your friend? Well, if it was just a friend that I pushed, then it should be no big deal. So on behalf of my family, I apologize to you for getting the wrong person. <laughs> You can't just talk to me like that. You are so rude, and you need to take the consequences of your actions. <laughs> what? You? Aren't you brave for not calling me by my name? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> hey, you big jerk of a brother. We need to talk, you disgusting human being. I beg your pardon? What is with that language? What did I do? What's with you calling your own brother disgusting human being? That's not nice. You know that I saw the messages that my oh-so-lovely sister-in-law sent me, right? Did you know that the person Heidi pushed down the stairs and that we had to get an ambulance for was my friend? Yeah, I might have known about that. <laughs> well, I'm sure your friend is probably a similar type of person as you since you're both friends. Sad and pathetic, I bet. It was Sasha Bennett that was pushed down the stairs. What? Who are you even talking about? How am I supposed to know all of your pathetic friends? Are you kidding me right now, Spencer? I won't take that as an answer. Surely you must remember her name. Think about it, you idiot. Sasha Bennett, you say? Oh, crap. Wait a minute. No way. Can't be. She's not a relation of Mr. Bennett, my company's boss, is she? Ding, ding, ding. You finally got it. The woman who was pushed is your company's president's daughter. No, no, no. This can't be happening. This simply can't be true. May I ask why not? Don't you see that it's already happened? There's no way that such a plain and pathetic person like yourself has any sort of friendship with a glamorous person such as my boss's daughter. This must be some sort of crappy joke. Why would I joke about my friendships? Both of us went to Cornell. We were in the same year. Uh, I'm sorry, what? She went to Cornell as well? Yes, I did just say that. I suppose I should also tell you just one more thing. What is it now, Kendra? You're already making me stressed out as it is. You and Heidi never made the effort to meet my fiancé, or rather, you completely avoided him as you had no interest in meeting him, am I right? Yeah, and? What's wrong with that? If we don't want to meet your pathetic fiancé, then we don't have to. Why do we need to meet a man who's choosing such a lower-leveled woman like you? Just being related to a superior couple like us is enough to make you feel at least somewhat feisty, even though you're so boring. Okay. Do you have the invitation on hand right now? Yes, I do. But what's that got to do with this? Haven't you even looked at the groom's name? I don't see much point looking at his name if he's going to marry you. Don't be an idiot and read what the invitation says. Look at his name. There's no point, Kendra. I don't care and will never care about this guy you're marrying. Okay, what's going on here? Fine. I'll look at the stupid invitation. The groom's last name is Bennett. What the heck is this? Some sort of cruel joke? Just hold up a minute, Kendra. Is this for real? If I'm not mistaken, my boss had twins. A daughter and a son. No way! You're not marrying my boss's son, are you? Oh, yes I am, big brother. It's his son. 
He was also in the same year as me at Cornell. That's how we met. But how can someone like him be into you? I don't understand this situation. Well, of course, this doesn't mean it's okay to push someone down the stairs or not. Your own wife just pushed your boss's daughter, and the groom is his son. With that, it seems that the position you're both in is a bit like walking the plank. You're going to be in a lot of hot water with your boss, I'm sure. This can't be happening. This is a complete disaster. I guess there's no need to give any more of an explanation. You've got all the information you need. You can't be serious right now, Kendra. You've gone and messed everything up. a minute, Kendra. You could have told me all of this in advance, so none of this would have happened. Well, I did try to tell you, Heidi, but you weren't taking any of it in, so I couldn't say a word without your criticism. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. This is so bad. You avoided meeting my fiancé and refused to meet him, and now it turns out that you're his enemy. This can't be real. You're lying to me. There's no way that I would have known that something like this would happen if we hadn't met. I wish I had met you without being so amused about the situation. That shouldn't be what you regret, Heidi. You're an idiot, just like my brother. Spencer, you need to reply to me right now. Where the heck did you go? Don't you think it's bad to run off whilst I was in the middle of messaging your pathetic sister? Would you just shut up, Heidi? You've gone and messed everything up. You screwed up big time. I don't want to be with you. I want a divorce. What the heck, Spencer? Why? I've barely done anything wrong. If you're going to be like that, you're definitely going to get arrested for what you did. It's no joke that the filth in this society are people like you, my own wife. Excuse me? How dare you say that to me? I'm not filth. You're the one who agreed to your sister's punishment, didn't you, Spencer? But you're the one who went through with it, not me. I had many complaints about Kendra because she's my sister. I would never go to the extent of trying to push her down a flight of stairs. Oh, so now you think it's okay for your own wife to be treated like a criminal then? Doing what I did is not that bad. If you can't see what you did was wrong, then I'm divorcing you. That's why I don't want to be your husband. I don't want to be involved in the downfall. What did you just say? You can't just leave me when you're just as bad. <laughs> Hey, Kendra, why have I been cut off by the family? I divorced that horrible wife. That has nothing to do with me, I swear. And by the way, I have received a transfer offer to Kansas City Town Sales Office. If I get transferred there, I won't be able to get promoted anymore and I'll be downgraded to just a regular employee who's been there for a number of years. So, why are you telling me this? Well, you're married to my company president's son, right? The wedding was actually quite a small one in the photos with a small party of relatives. Sasha's injuries weren't life-threatening either. The ceremony was held at a different time due to the circumstances at the venue, but it wasn't canceled. So I'm now the next president's brother-in-law and his wife's older brother. Don't you think it's odd to be demoted? Please say it's odd and help me get back on my career path. Please, Kendra. What were you saying earlier? It won't be my husband who inherits the company. It's the person who got into an accident. It'll be Sasha who takes over. Excuse me, what? It's not going to be your husband? My husband works for a company in a completely different industry and has no connection to his father's company. Can't be serious. Is Sasha who will be in charge after my boss? As it was your place of work, I assumed that you knew the details, you know? I didn't know. This must be some sort of lie. I can't believe it. But my elite life, it'll all disappear if I get demoted. Oh well, big brother. I don't want to carry on with this conversation with you. But this can't happen to me. Are you all pranking me? Good luck with your life, Spencer. Goodbye. But my elite life. No, I need it. Help me, Kendra. It seems that my brother was having a breakdown, but I just ignored him. After the incident, a complaint was filed against Heidi. As for my brother, he seems to be telling me that he wasn't involved in the crime. However, considering his current behavior, it's difficult to say that he's completely blameless. The punishment came in the form of being cut off by my family and demotion from the company. But what happened to Heidi? They were unable to reach a settlement and now she's got a criminal record and she's being asked to pay compensation and all the medical bills. To pay for this, a relative who runs a business seemed to reluctantly hire her. 
No one in her family seems to be kind to her after what she did. She had become the snob of her family and always thought she was in the right. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.